Good morning, kindergarten. This is Mrs. Weaver. I hope you're having a nice weekend and getting excited for the snow that I think is coming tomorrow. Today we are going to talk about angels. We're gonna talk about holy angels in our lesson today. And we're also gonna color a beautiful picture of an angel and a little girl. So before we get started, let's do our cross. Let's get our three fingers together in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And now let's recite the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And we'll do our cross one more time. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So I'm sure all of you have heard about angels, right? There's angels all around us. And there's depictions of angels in our church, right? That some of them are on icons and that you see when you go and visit us at church. So today we're gonna to talk about angels and I'm gonna give you a little story about angels. So many years ago, before Jesus was even born, there lived a man named Isaiah. One day when Isaiah was praying, he saw something very strange. He saw God sitting on a throne, just like a king. Around God were some flaming creatures standing. They had six wings, two to fly with, and two to cover their bodies, and then two of them to cover their faces. God was so bright, even the angels could not look at him. They were calling out to each other, the Lord Almighty is holy. His glory fills the world. These people were called angels. These special angels that we just talked about with all the wings, they're called seraphims. Angels are God's helpers, and the seraphims are angels. God made the angels just like he made you and I, but he made them before he made the world. So he actually made the angels first before he made the whole world that we live in. We can't see the angels, right? But we know they're out there. And they're helping God in so many different ways. God has a special angel for each of us. So he has a special angel for me. He has a special angel for you. That special angel is called our guardian angel. Our guardian angel is with us all the time. Our guardian angel always tries to protect us when we're in danger. And that's why we call him our guardian. We can pray to our guardian angel. We can ask him to be on our side all of the time, to help us do the right things, and to protect us. So next time you go to church, let's look in the sanctuary where we sit, right? In God's special room. And there near the altar, when we look up near the altar where the priest stands, you will see two, two round fans. And sometimes the altar boys carry those around the church. They look like fans. And on each fan, there's a picture of an angel on there. And remember, it doesn't have two wings. It's gonna have six wings. And the fans remind us that God is with us in church and his angels are always serving him. So it's just a reminder that angels are all around us, right? And there's a special angel for me and there's a special angel for you. So today, what I've done is I've attached to this message um, a very special picture of an angel and a little girl holding hands. And what I'd like you to do is ask your mom or dad or whoever you're living with, with your adult to cut, or I'm sorry, to print out that picture 
and then you can color it and you can show me what your very special angel uh, looks like. So I asked my son Christopher, who's in first grade, to color his angel and this is what his looks like. Do you see that? He chose to color his a very pretty blue color. So this is the guardian angel, and this is a picture showing that guardian angel holding the little girl's hand. So what I would like you to do is color your very special angel, and you show me it can be whatever color you want it to be. It can be all different colors, it can be all one color, because it's your special angel. And I want you to send me your special angel to show me what it looks like. So I hope you enjoyed our lesson today, and I hope you enjoy this week with all the snow hopefully we're gonna enjoy. And I hope you have a very good Sunday. God bless.